What's up guys? Uh, sorry I missed the last game against the Kings with the Celtics review. That's the way it goes. My other hobby is just totally messing with everything, guys. Just messing with everything. So here we are. Celtics win by seven. Al Horford and Kyrie Irving were so huge in the fourth quarter. Just unbelievable. This is a game we should have lost. This is a game we were well on our way to losing. And all of a sudden, our two veterans just put the team on the back. Lights out. Al Horford, I almost want to say that all four of those threes were fourth quarter. At least three of them were. And just so clutched down the down the stretch just did not miss did not miss at all marcus morris very exciting to see his first game and then he, you noticed he started the second half over baines so this team has major options and uh, i don't know if marcus morris is going to start every game going forward because there are certainly some matchups where i do not want al horford playing too much center minutes but he's just so effective so effective with his speed advantage and his off the dribble advantage and his threat his constant threat to hit threes that's always going to pull his defender out so he can dribble by and either go to the basket or m make the pass to an open teammate so we are in great shape jason tatum had a really solid game i would have liked to see him a little more aggressive and he did miss one layup there after a really nice move but wasn't necessarily looking for a shot all the time but he's got to be shooting 45 50 percent from three by now and uh you know he's a starter playing big minutes on a game on a team that just won seven in a row just beat a supposed super team and uh one of the one of the top five teams in the league so he's doing really really well <sighs> what a game what a game what a game and uh you saw Shemi Ojale guys he hit a th huge three in the fourth quarter and he was also in the game in like the last two minutes over Marcus Smart. So they then put Marcus Smart in. But going forward, guys, he's just going to get more and more. Even with uh, Marcus Morris back in the, you know, he still got his 14 minutes, guys. So this is a big time contributor for us. Sneaky rookie. Rookie impact. And he's going to keep getting minutes. Daniel Tice was also solid. And uh, Terry Rozier was actually hitting some shots today. So that's good. Uh, but anyway, guys, let me know what you thought of the game. I'll keep it short. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for our two big stars, we would have lost this game. But the Thunder did have to shoot lights out to get that big first half lead. So that was the Thunder playing at their absolute best, which is probably about as good as uh, the Warriors at their absolute best. The only difference being the Warriors can probably do it for two halves, making it a much bigger struggle, but big win for us guys, seven in a row. All right, I will see you soon. Peace.